In this how-to video, we're going to show you how to use Line Vision Desktop Ultimate to take DJI drone data and optimize it for use in Esri's ArcGIS MISB FMV tools. Now, to do this, we're going to need a couple things on hand before we get started. The first thing we're going to need, obviously, is the DJI video file. And the second thing we're going to need is the DJI flight record log file. Now this is the encrypted .txt file. There's also a .dat file, but we want the encrypted .txt file. And you get this on Android by getting it from the device itself. And with Apple devices, you've got to download it from iTunes. In this case, you do not need the .srt file as it does not have the necessary metadata we're going to need to produce the... Uh, optimized video files for Esri's tools. Here we show our folder that has the DJI video without MISB and the DJI flight record log we're going to use to geotag this video and therefore optimize it for the Esri tool. Now that we have the DJI video and the flight record log file, we're going to go to Remote Geosystems Line Vision Desktop Ultimate Edition where we're going to load them up for geotagging. There's a couple ways you can do this. One, we can go to File and open the video for geotagging. Uh, we can also go down here to our geotagger tab and load the videos up there. So let's browse to that. Here's our DJI video that does not yet have MISB associated with it or even any other metadata. And now we're going to grab the flight record text log file. All right. And then we hit load the files to map. All right, this message box tells us how to go about geotagging the video against the flight record log file, and we're going to show that to you here. So several ways we can do this. We just got to pick some point in the video and some point in the map and match those two up. So I'm actually going to play this for a little bit here. And looking at the content in the video and looking at the content on the map, I'm going to try to find something I can match up here. Now we're coming up on this parking lot. This ought to be a good area to do it with. I'm going to say in this frame of the video, we are approximately at this location along the flight record track. So we're going to click there, right click, select geotag video here. And what will then happen is we highlight in yellow the proposed geotagged route of the video. So therefore the blue portion represents what is not synced with this video and we will no longer need uh, for this task here. So we we'll go ahead and click geotag video and we've successfully geotagged it and loaded it here to the mapping environment. Select OK. Alright, now we can click anywhere along this point and we see we now have a footprint here on the map, in this case represented by the purple box and the purple line from the moving platform to the target location. But it's not quite representative of what we're seeing in the video. And the reason for that is the DGIs vary greatly in um, what types of metadata they offer in that encrypted flight record log file. And in this case, we're actually going to have to go in and adjust uh, the camera field of view up here uh, to match what we're actually seeing in the video. As you can see in the video here, we're uh, looking at, on the left side, uh, we have the river, uh, but we're, that's not necessarily represented in the box here uh, on the map. So let's go ahead and back up a little bit. Let's pause this, and then we're going to adjust our camera field of view accordingly. Having done this a couple times before in practice, 
I think the field of view is roughly around 54, 55 degrees. Uh, just under 50, right around 54. Just under 54. Okay. So if we're happy with that, and for the sake of the demonstration, I am. You can see we now have the camera target footprint on the map represented by the purple uh, trapezoidal box, if you will, and the um, the tracer from the uh, platform to the location of the camera target center. All right, let's just go ahead and pause our video. We're going to come over here to the media browser, and then we right-click on the thumbnail here, and now there is an option to save the track as Esri Video Multiplexer CSV. This is the CSV format that the Esri ArcGIS Pro uh, Multiplexer uh, likes in order to do the MISB spec video within the Esri mapping environment. So we're going to go ahead and do that. And we can save that to the same location. And we've successfully saved our Esri Video Multiplexer CSV file. Okay. All right, so now it's time to actually go back to the Esri ArcGIS Pro tool and put these two pieces in. Now that we're back in the Esri ArcGIS Pro environment, we're going to go find the Esri FMV tool. We'll just type in FMV, and there it is, the video multiplexer. So we'll select that. And here it gives us the option to input the video file. So let's go browse to where that is. And there's the file without the MISB data again. So we'll select that. And then we're going to go select the metadata file, which is the CSV that's been optimized for Esri through the Line Vision Desktop Ultimate tool. Okay, and then we've also got one more field or area here to fill out, and that's where we want to put it. And we will call it DGI with MISB. And we select Save. And over here we come down and execute the Run tool. Uh, had a little pop-up there. And it looks like we've had a successful multiplexing here. So now let's go ahead and add that data to the map. Come up here to add data. And I believe we saved that somewhere else, so let me go find it. And here's the new DGI video file with the MISB. So we're going to select that, say OK. It loads in here. And once it loads up, we see its location up here on the map. And let's just go take a look and play it. So there we have our new video file with from the DGI now embedded with MISB for playback in the Esri ArcGIS Pro tool and this should also work with the Esri ArcMap desktop tool as well and that's how you use Line Vision Desktop Ultimate Edition from Remote Geosystems to optimize your DGI drone videos for MISB full motion video playback in Esri's tools.